Hardware money, my PC is slow, my PC is slow. This is not the first time I'll receive a message like this. And first of all, I tend to always ask, what kind of processor are you currently running? And sometimes I get this um, feedback that yes, my PC has a Core i5. 4590 processor, which is not entirely bad. This is one processor I've used myself, and I can say for sure that this is a very good processor. So this possibly is not the reason why your PC is very slow. And secondly, I want to ask, what kind of RAM are you currently running? And then I hear, okay, my PC has 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. Once again, this is not particularly uh, a very terrible uh, RAM uh, configuration to have on your PC. If it were four gigabytes, then I can say that, okay, let's say this is a little bit uh, on the low end because ideally, typically want to recommend you to have a minimum of 16 gigabytes of free RAM if you are also running DDR4 RAM. The same thing, DDR3 RAM, DDR4, DDR5, just a minimum of 16 gigabytes would definitely be okay. So the RAM definitely in this case is not the bottleneck that your PC is currently having. And then I keep probing further and want to ask, what's the hard drive on your system? And then I hear my system has one terabyte HDD. And I say, yes, this is exactly the problem you are having. Guys, it's 2024 and gone are the days where it used to be a lot of fun to run your PC using a mechanical hard drive. This one right here, if you go to Hardware Money, I actually have a hard drive on sale. Yeah, there's a reason for this. I'm going to be coming to this much later. You see, gone are the days where it made a lot of sense to uh, get a PC, a good PC with a very good processor, good RAM configuration, and then it doesn't matter the operating system you are using, Windows 10, Windows 11, it doesn't matter. Install it on a mechanical hard drive, and then you realize that the PC is not as fast as you would expect. In this case, the bottleneck is not actually uh, 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 the PC processor, it's not the RAM, but the fact that you are running a mechanical drive on your PC is exactly why you are having problems with your PC. Problems in this case being that your PC is taking forever to boot. You are trying to copy some files and you just realize that the thing is getting so slow. You are trying to multitask and you realize that nothing is just working for you. See, guys, what you want to do is to go ahead and get an SSD. It doesn't matter the product you are getting. But this particular product is on sale now on my website for 14 euro 90. Gone are the days where the SSDs used to be very expensive. Believe me. Then if you are thinking of getting a 128 gigabyte SSD, you must be thinking of spending a lot of money. Sometimes 100 euros, 150 euros. But now, thanks to the market forces, the prices of these things are getting really cheap. And I see no reason why you continue to use your PC with a HDD. It doesn't matter the size of the SSD. It could be 128 gigabytes. It could be 256 gigabytes. But you want to ensure that as much as you can, your operating system, be it Windows 10, be it Windows 11, is installed on an SSD. In this way, you can actually take advantage of the processor you are using. You can take advantage of the RAM. And believe me, if you were to go ahead and install an SSD in your system, if everything is right, you need you will have you will have a system that boots really, really fast. We're talking about like seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, depending on the type of SSD you are using. So it's not fun. It's only like some people don't really understand why they need to upgrade their systems. And on this channel, I kind of make a lot of videos showing you why your system in 2024 definitely needs to be running on an SSD. Like I said, these things are getting really, really cheap. There's no excuse anymore like it used to be where people say, I cannot get an SSD because the price is just beyond my reach. No, this time things are really, really cheap. And if you really value your time, you don't want to be caught up in a situation where you want to boot up your system. Uh, you, you come to your PC, you, you need to put it on, you need to go ahead and grab some coffee and then come back about three or five minutes later and the system is still trying to boot up. If you want to just come to your PC the way I like it, which I call the hardware money way, you come to your PC, you press the start button and the PC boots up 10, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, 22 seconds, then this is exactly what you want to do. You want to go ahead. There are so many places you can get an SSD right now. Like I said, this is not about the product. It could be SanDisk. It could be Samsung. It could be um, Western Digital. There are so many kind of SSD out there in the market. But if you go onto Hardware Money, you can actually see that we have a decent SSD right here for sale. A wise person actually saw it and bought it, bought two pieces of it. I'm going to be shipping it out to the buyer. 
this is not a body product, like I said, but the thing is, an SSD is just a must to have on your system 2024. There's really no excuse why you continue to run your, your system. It doesn't matter your PC, your laptop, your workstation using a mechanical hard drive. Of course, there are so many reasons why people still buy the mechanical hard drive. For example, this Western Digital HD is one hard drive that's really, really uh, good. I've used it in different situations. Never had any problems with it. Let's say you have an SSD on your system on which you have installed the operating system. Yes, if you had bought the uh, 120 gigabyte SSD, truth be said, it's not so big in terms of storage capacity when you compare it to a one terabyte. So what people do is that people get a very small SSD, like I would kind of recommend 256 gigabytes, and then pair it with a mechanical hard drive, say 500 gigabytes or even one terabyte. So in this way, when you have your um, documents, you want to save a lot of stuff on your PC, then you can actually make sure that these documents are saved onto the hard drive. But then your operating system and other important files that makes Windows work very well are all saved and installed on your SSD. This is the only way you can take advantage of the PC you are using. I've met people that change their PC simply because they felt the problem with the PC was just that the PC was slow. They didn't really know what exactly the problem was. And then they bought a new PC, bought another one, only to finally realize that it's not about changing the PC. You have to change exactly where the problem is coming from. And in this case, the problem is coming from the fact that Windows has been installed on a mechanical hard drive. Yes, back in the days, it was trends to have a, 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 a HDD because then the technology was just for HDDs. But now that the SSDs are out and they are really, really getting cheap, this is something, this is the direction you need to go. It doesn't matter how cheap the PC is. It doesn't matter how good of an offer you have found online. Always ensure that the PC is coming with an SSD installed. Let's say you've bought a PC without an SSD installed. The next thing you want to do is to quickly go ahead. Like I said, you can head on to Hardware Money, grab yourself an SSD, and then make sure you install it on your PC. You can also do the same. You can go to Amazon, you can go to eBay. There are so many places you can actually get this, but if you go on to Hardware Money and you are just looking for a minimalist size SSD, I've got a 120 gigabyte uh, SanDisk SSD right now for sale. Somebody has already bought this too, and I'm gonna to be shipping it to this buyer. I'm really hoping that this buyer has a lot of value from this SSD. Yes, I get it sometimes. Some people would really love to change the, uh, the hard drive on their PC to SSD. And sometimes, some people actually see this as a daunting task. Some people really do not know where to start from. And this is the reason why I've taken a lot of efforts to make really good quality videos on YouTube, showing you exactly how you can actually change the HDD on your system to an SSD. It doesn't matter the kind of system, be it a small form factor PC, be it a tiny PC, uh, be it a laptop. If you go onto Hardware Money on YouTube, you actually get a lot of videos showing you how to do this. I've actually covered the installation of uh, SSDs on a lot of desktop PCs, and I'm hopeful that you should be able to find a model that fits your particular model of desktop PC. But like I said, SSD is just a no-brainer. If you are still running a HDD on your, on your PC in 2024, you are doing it wrong. This is the reason why your system is super, super slow. If you want to supercharge your PC, then do yourself a great favor by installing an SSD on your PC. These things are really, really cheap these days. With as little as 15 euros, you can actually get yourself a minimalist sized SSD that will remove that bottleneck that you are presently experiencing on your PC right now. Yes, if you have need to store a lot of files, then it makes sense to go ahead and also pick up a HDD and pair it, install it on your system. So, but the most important thing is that your printing system has to be installed on your SSD, Why every other thing can be installed on your HDD. I'm really sorry that the audio is a little bit messed up on this video. A lot of construction work going on around, but I just felt like I should address this issue as soon as possible. And if this video helps you, go ahead and click on the like button, subscribe to the channel. Until I see you again, peace.